You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, and welcome to the weekly Young and the Restless Prediction Edition. We've got devious, dangerous schemes, new opportunities, and a twist no one saw coming, and an unlikely hero in the offing. And as always, our YNR predictions are based firmly in confirmed CBS soap spoilers. We got three new predictions this week about Adam and his family, Victoria and her not so dead daughter, as well as Chance taking a chance on something. And hey, if you haven't, be sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Let's talk about all of this. My first prediction is that Adam Newman plays hero again. Despite the naysayers in his family, Adam Newman, I believe, absolutely has the ability to rise to the occasion and deliver in times of need. Most recently, he was there for his dad, Victor Newman, when he thought the mustache was suffering from some sort of mental frailty, mental decline, and he was doing the right thing. He wasn't trying to take advantage. And then Adam was right there with Sally Specter when she lost their baby. He was making tough choices when she couldn't. And then he was bearing the weight of her grief and also her anger and her blaming him, even though he absolutely did nothing to deserve that ire. Before that, if you remember, Adam saved Nick during a cave-in in a basement in this house. And then he gave Faith a kidney to save her life. And that was after saving Faith from a car accident, and that was him doing that despite the fact that he was a wanted man at the time and could have been arrested. He put the family first, and he sacrificed himself to save a family member. So yeah, yeah, I think Adam can be really heroic when he's not scheming and manipulating, you know double-edged sword right there. So spoilers for Young the Restless, Monday, November 27th, have Adam noticing his family members are just nowhere in Genoa City. And he asks Nate if he's seen Victoria or Victor, and the ex-doctor gets douchey with him, as he likes to do. And then later, Adam tells Sally he thinks his dad is avoiding him. He's not. He's just in a house of horrors in Oregon. So Adam Adam is noticing that most of the family is not around. Only he and Abby, the offshoot Newmans that never get any attention or only get abuse. So based on his dialogue, though, on this coming Monday's episode, I feel like Adam is going to start asking more questions and trying and figure out why they're not at work, what is going on. I mean, surely Victor, Victoria, or Nick told somebody at Newman Enterprises why they were leaving town because Nikki was having this medical crisis, or maybe Adam talks to the pilot of the Newman private jet. I really hope that he gets suspicious and he decides to go check on them because that seems like something he might do either because he's worried about them or maybe because he suspects that they are up to something, one or the other. So, and of course, in in that Oregon house of horrors, Nikki's off the wagon. Victor, Nick, and Victoria are poisoned on Monday and told they only have minutes to live. It looks really, really dire. So yeah, yeah, the Newmans need a hero, and I personally am hoping that it's Adam. All right, our second prediction is that Chance Chancellor takes a leap, but the question is, with whom? So next week on YNR, official spoilers say Chance is ready to make a big decision, and he gets some advice from Sharon Newman about it. And it looks like he's weighing whether to leave his career in law enforcement and turn to the corporate world. So based on a recent spoilers pick from behind the scenes, it definitely looks like he's leaving cop life behind and getting a job in the business world. You can see in the picture that he's in a nice dress shirt and tie, which is definitely not a cop outfit, not even a chief of police outfit, really. And that points to him working in a corporate office, but with whom? So Jill Abbott, who's his grandma, and his mom, Nina Webster, want Chance to go to work at Chancellor Winters. But I wonder if Chance might get a couple of other offers as well. Summer Newman has a big crush on him that she is 
finally acknowledging and embracing, and maybe she hires him or asks him to come to work as the head of security for Marchetti. I could totally see Summer inventing some sort of job to have him there so she could see him every day. And I mean, let's be fair, Nate was a doctor and didn't know really anything about business, and he was just let go as CEO at a huge corporation, and it wasn't because he didn't know how to do the job. It was, you know, petty, spiteful, standard Victor trickery. So Chance could certainly do that. He could do any corporate job if he applied himself, I'm sure. But, well, at least on soaps. Not in real life, but on soaps, sure. And another option could be Sharon offering him a job at her company that she inherited from Cameron Kirsten because Nick has just wandered back to Newman and now he's trapped in Oregon, so he's not showing up to work. So I think Sharon might ask Chance to work for her because there are some spoilers about her having jealous feelings about him and Summer. In the end, though, even if he got all three offers, I'm going to guess, I'm going to predict that Chance winds up at Chancellor Winters because it's the family business. But we'll wait and see. My third and final prediction for upcoming week or two is that Victoria Newman risks it all for this mystery daughter. So on YNR, Monday, November 27th, tomorrow, Victoria gets the shock of her life when she hears that first she's been poisoned and that wicked Claire Grace is her biological daughter with Cole Howard that she thought died way back in 1998, shortly after her birth. And of course, Cole Howard is there on Monday. He's been whacked in the head with a hammer. Ouch. And they drag him out for this twisted, twisted family reunion. So not only is Victoria's daughter back from the dead, but Claire is dangerous and she's holding a grudge that has been getting worse every day over the past two Two decades because her aunt has been poisoning her mind. And there's a new spoiler photo behind the scenes at the CBS soap opera that leads me to believe criminal charges will be filed against these perpetrators. So in this photo, there's Michael Baldwin, there's Claire Grace, and there's her wicked Aunt Jordan. Oh gosh, Colleen Zink's doing such a good job as her, right? She just, oh, she does bad and creepy so well. So if you look, they're in the interrogation room at the GCPD. You can see the bars on the window. You can see the metal chair in front of the interrogation table. He, This is a Christian LeBlanc photo, and he put hearts over the little sign that says interrogation room, but we're not dumb. We know what it is. So... It definitely looks like the Newmans survive, and then those two ladies are probably arrested. Of course, they should be arrested in Oregon, but maybe the Newmans get away and they chase them back to Genoa City, do bad things there, and that's why they're arrested there. Or maybe that's where the charges are filed, because that's technically where they kidnapped them from. It's a soap. We don't have to follow actual real-life law rules, right? So the big question in this prediction, though, is would Victoria Newman really let her daughter go down for a crime like this. I mean, Claire Grace is Claire Grace, you know, Newman Howard, I guess. So because Michael's in the picture, unless it's just a for fun picture, I suspect Victoria might hire Michael to rep her daughter, you know, try and salvage this mess and throw Jordan under the bus instead of Claire. That's what I think if I'm just hazarding a guess, you know, we're talking about something that's going to happen in a few weeks because I think he he posted that photo maybe a week ago or so and they usually shoot a month ahead. So three, four weeks ahead. This is kind of a long range prediction today. So it'll be interesting to see if Victoria puts this child first, this child she doesn't know. And of course, Claire's a grown woman, but still Victoria's child. And I think it'd be interesting to see if Victoria is willing to overlook the fact that her not dead kid is a full-blown psycho. And, you know, Victoria has been such a a big old B-word about Adam, you know, telling their dad to cut him out of his life because he can't be trusted and he does bad things, blah, blah, blah. You, You guys know the song. But then on Monday, spoilers confirm that Victoria finds out she spawned a true hell demon of a daughter. So Claire, to me, makes Adam look kind of like a a fluffy little kitten, right? Next to Claire Grace Newman Howard. But my prediction is in the end, Victoria will not let this kiddo of hers do the time for the crime. 
even though bailing her out and accepting her after she has lambasted Adam repeatedly makes Victoria a huge hypocrite. Okay, that's everything. Be sure to drop your comments, agree or disagree. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already and share your ideas for what you think are coming from these front burner storylines. I love to read your comments. And of course, we're here talking YNR seven days a week. As always, you are listening to Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.